a very nice chilled glass of grapefruit juice. Very nice indeed. In the previous episode, we were once again doing some cleaning, and we cleaned the steam locomotive over the course of a couple of episodes, and I think the main takeaway is it's a shame it's not in the main campaign. Not that it makes much difference, it's still in the game and we still are able to clean it, but overall it was a okay uh, little job there. So we've got a couple more that we can look at. We've got the Gnome Fountain and the mini golf course. Um, <laughs> what sort of what sort of size are we looking at? I don't really know the size of each each one. I think we'll go for. I mean, that looks really intricate. I think I think we're going to go with the gnome fountain. To be honest with you, this gives us the urban XU two. So we're not taking our own pressure washer. This is the Prime Vista three thousand, and I've not used. Uh, is the Urban XU2, is that the middle one? Let's have a quick look. Power washers. Yeah, it's the medium duty. So we, when we first started the series about 16 years ago, we started with the Prime Vista 1500. And we then skipped the medium and went straight to the Prime Vista 3000 and then obviously to the Prime Vista Pro, which is brilliant. However, we've never used the the medium pressure washer so that's probably a reason to check this out so a power wash community job restore the fountain to its former glory let's give this one a go shall we so we'll have a look around see what we can see and uh check out any maybe some little easter eggs and see what the deal is so this is the norm fountain and we've got a nice little park here we see where we've actually parked our van and we have all of the fountain here it is surrounded by nice little flower beds, some litters, and oh, uh, lost cat Ulysses. Pl very fluffy. Please call the mayor at six seven three dash six nine five. We have. I don't know what that is over there. It appears to be some sort of entrance. Can we actually go all the way around the park? We cannot go all the way around the park. It it matters not. Uh, we have a nice little sort of cool box there. We've got appears to be some sort of vending vendor over there uh we've got <laughs> a football which oh what um we have a cloaking football oh no there it is there it is i think it's um rebounding off the box <laughs> off the invisible wall oh there it is we've got our football back hmm it was casting a shadow yet we couldn't see it interesting anyway back to the fountain then so there's not much to look at there um what is of note is uh I, I don't seem to have <laughs> i do have a ladder that's fine uh what's this as well bigfoot strikes again i can say i do i have a ladder yes i do have a ladder so let's go ahead and start to clean the fountain uh pick up the ladder place it there there we go and we're gonna go up and i'm gonna start from the Top, he says uh, let me just go for 15 degree nozzle extension is going to be the short extension for now It'd be nice if I could just click on that and change it <laughs> change it to the pro yeah job done in about uh, 10 minutes jump on here and then on here and we're up to the top of the gnome fountain right let's get cleaning so it says this is made of stone this gnome fountain is made of stone it's not made of what I thought originally was going to be well, I thought originally this was going to be, say, copper. Hence all of, like, the the colours of it. But, I assume not. It's a very intricate model. There's very few, what I would say, uh, hard edges. So, cleaning may prove to be annoying. And I do use that word, annoying, rather than challenging, difficult, etc. It might just be annoying. But, we'll have to see. So just cleaning the gnome statue here. I'm going to get up and top. Obviously running the short extension. Running along there. And up the top. I'm going to jump on top of here. Ah, oh, so they've got a crown on, I see. It's all made of stone oh no the crown is made of metal but it is all classed as just statue so just clean in between the beard Got a lot of crumbs in there just clean that little jug that they're holding around the outside up and around that bit yeah that's good work our way around can we jump on the top we can jump on the top 
and we can clean the top of their crown all the way around where the court is etc no safety harness is required naturally uh, that's rocks that I'm cleaning there so I don't need to do that but I'm just I'm just trying to spray around get what we can bits underneath the where the norm's a bit dirty there don't want to fall off that's for sure and yeah, just little bits under there we have to manage behind the ears that's where a lot of dirt often gets as we all know and there we are so one percent let's carry on so this is the rocks at the top of it just giving it a good once over from one angle I was gonna maybe overspray to the left there left and right and I thought oh yeah that'll give us um, a nice little overspray but because of the distance, it didn't seem to be too worth it. Let me just clean the rocks here. And there we go. And obviously there's loads of bits that we've missed. And there's stubborn, caked-in dirt. There was no... Um, there was no sort of narrative to this... To this map either, so I don't know how it's got so dirty, what's happened, etc. We often have narratives in the campaign as to what's happened, why things have been why things have been left to get to a state where they are. But we don't have that here. Um, this nozzle doesn't seem to be the correct nozzle for this job. You know what? Could we get away with the big nozzle? Uh, the answer to that is no. I think this might be a 25 degree green nozzle job. Yeah. I think the nozzle for the one I normally use, the yellow 15 degree, my favourite. Don't tell the other nozzles I have a favourite, they'll get jealous. But it doesn't seem to be the best nozzle for the job. It doesn't have the coverage. So I think we're going to keep using this. The 25 degree green nozzle. Obviously we're not running any cleaner at the moment as well, I should point out. I don't really want to run cleaner unless absolutely necessary. I can already tell that this is going to be quite a big job. I didn't think it was, but 3% already. It's the, it's how intricate this thing is. That's what's going to make it a big job. So I've managed to clean a lot of this stuff. The rocks here. Let's just keep cleaning around it. Pressing tab just to get access to the our special cleaner overlay to see where there's dirt. Built in dirt and grime here. Bits that I may have missed. May have overlooked. Seems to be mainly this side. Up there maybe. There we go, there's the rocks clean. Okay. Let's go with the um the basin up a ball. Do I just want to work around like this? I think I do. A couple of bits missing. Are these different? No, they are the same. It's just up. It's classed as up a ball. All right then. Just work around. Some of the has already had overspray anyway. The sound design obviously is informing us that. This is not as powerful as the other one, as the professional duty. It just doesn't have that sort of grunt that the other one has. Um, I think I'm actually going to switch back over to the 15 for this. Yeah, seems to be about right. I'm going to clean inside the ball first. Let's 
But yeah, this is not included in the campaign. Once again, it's part of the... Uh, it says community. I think it said community maps. Um, part of the specials thing. And I wonder if that means that yeah, this has actually been made by the community rather than directly from the devs. Or maybe in cooperation with the devs. Maybe it's been deemed to be not as good as what they would like in the campaign. Who knows? Maybe it's just been made, let's say, by the devs and it's like, no, we've, we've put a lot of work into it, but we don't feel it's up to standard or it's too annoying or whatever the reason is. And not, we're not going to put it in the campaign, but we, we put the work in, so, well, we want at least to be shown. Ah, oh, that ball is actually done. Oh, so the edge is genuinely a separate part. Right, okay. <laughs> Didn't really check, but it seemed to work out, so let's just continue cleaning here. But yeah, for whatever reason, it's uh, it's in this. And obviously we're working top down, so we're arguably doing the hardest part first. A lot of muck on here. I imagine a lot of species, obviously of the avian variety, will be flying up here and leaving presents all on the edge. And we'll have to come along, clean it all off, get all that muck off. All that dirt. Crime. And so forth off. This is the upper base and edge. And we've still got a lot more to clean, so... When I jump off onto a previous layer, yeah, we'll be able to look over. What I'm going to do, though, while I'm here, is give those a spray. These are the norms, these statues. Don't think I need to clean the rest, but certainly the statues from this angle. That might be prudent clean them. We'll almost certainly have to come back up here. There'll be something I've forgotten I'll have to come back up, but do what we can for now. Maybe the long extension is better for them. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. I'll go back and do this a bit more. Clean that. That's, that's good, yeah, that's good. And can we reach down to there? We can't. <laughs> can reach quite far though with this extension, which is quite good to know. We also have the extra long extension, because we don't have to we don't have to buy any of this, it's all given to us part of the part of the challenge. So obviously it's just a a little quick once over really. Be nice if you completed it, all the water started flowing and the thing fill up. But yeah, I can't see that happening. <laughs> I'll be very, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised if it did. But let's see, I can't imagine that happening. Uh, right, okay. So I think we've got the majority of that little spray there. Let's jump down to the next layer. Clunk, and ah, so the edge is literally. That bit there, and this long extension is proving to be problematic. So that's the edge. So we'll work our way along. The problem I have is that you can very easily fall off this thing. Um, I switched over to the first person uh, aim mode, should I say? There didn't seem to work out too well for me. Can only really clean these edges from from here. Okay. There's still bits that we miss as well. Do what I can. That's the upper edge. Go to this side. Is that class as one piece? Yeah, it's called just wall. around there. That's good. We'll just rush over to this side. Put 
bursting edge once again. Doesn't seem to be getting very clean. Oh, there's bits on there as well, so I'm going to have to stand on these norms. It's actually pretty good, though, that. To get, yeah, you stand on there, it's actually pretty easy. Okay. What I'll do is I'll clean both sides then, like that. Then I'll stand on the norm. And I can just switch to this and get all that edge. But while I'm on, I'm going to spray this as well. From this angle. And down. Then we jump to this one. Any time now. There we go. Spray that edge. And we're going to go for this bit here as well. This underside. Lots of decorations on this one. Which are... Oh! They are... Rusting. I think. So I will have to use some cleaner. Okay. Well, I don't have to use cleaner. But it's going to be a nightmare not to... Uh, to sit there with this, which isn't the professional... This, <laughs> if it was a professional duty, no problem. Any day of the week. Easy. But it isn't. This is only the... This is the second pressure washout of the four. So... Yeah. I don't want to spend in... However long. <laughs> um, trying to clean one of those. Shall we try? We will try one of them. Just going to make sure that we've got all of this spread from the top, which we have. So I'm going to drop down. And now we're going to do... Um, underneath here. Oh, each individual one of those is a separate bit, is it? Right, so we've got... Let's go with the turbo. Um... Okay. Not as bad as I thought with the turbo, quite frankly. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to 15 degree nozzle all of this. Alright. Um, and I'm going to clean, yeah, all of those. All of the individual wall pieces. And I'll come back with the turbo nozzle. And I'll clean the rest. But honestly, getting to those bits is a nightmare. See, that's class is not clean. No, it's class is clean. We're good. That's, cl that's, that's clean as well. I'll keep going then. Mm. This one isn't, but I can probably stand on here and get where I need to get. There we go. Similar thing here. Nice. Getting that satisfying ting noise. Good. I think this wall... Is it that bit? And that bit? Yep. See, these here, these pieces I'm cleaning there, they're actually part of that wall. Just curious, I wouldn't have thought that would have been the case, but obviously it is. Just run to this side, give that a go. Nice. Good. Finally getting some of them satisfying tings. I think that's some of the problems with the, the huge maps. It's often you, you spend far too long on a flat surface and then yeah, it just takes ages to get those little bits done. Um, is that all underside? It is all underside. Right, so we've got these decorations. I I could use the, that, but we've got a soap nozzle. So let's go with it. Uh, metal cleaner. we only got a litre. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we're doing that. That's happening. For the t little bit of spray. Look. <laughs> it's... It's hardly any that we're using. But it's just so quicker. So quicker? Much quicker. Hmm. There we go. 
<laughs> Some of them are just a, a tiny little spray like that. Little ch -ch done. Other noises of spring are also available. Right, we're going to switch over back to the 25 degree, actually. See how we get on with that one. Um, long extension, maybe. Yeah, that's, that's, something's going on here. Okay, yep, we'll keep rocking that. Get the majority of the dirt. I'm just cleaning up to the centre there, you understand, because that's the upper column. So we're just cleaning this, uh, this top piece. And once again, I'm only really cleaning on these edge pieces that we can stand on. Because otherwise, it's a bit of a nightmare. So we'll spray around there. Once again, plaster stone. I wonder if I crouch right underneath there's loads. Oh, there's not a huge amount. There are bits, there are bits that have been missed, but that's okay. We can come back, maybe. Can't really tell how forgiving this map is so far. Certainly not forgiving anyone with problems with heights. Just go to this side now. And the majority of it will be done. Long extension 15 degree, that'll afford us a bit more range. Yep. Mm. Is that oh yeah, that's column. Okay. We'll come back to that. Oh. Is that graffiti? Yeah, we have graffiti. Okay. Let's spray on the inner track of this. I think it's there. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we have some graffiti here. This is classed as stone. Um, what I'm going to do is switch back to the 25 degree. And we're going to clean the dirt off it. It's the column here. Yeah, upper column's there. So we're cleaning the dirt off. We're not cleaning the graffiti off. I mean, we are still cleaning off, and we can spend time doing that. But my goal is just to clean the dirt off, and I'll come back for the graffiti with a cleaner. I'm actually quite liking the dynamic with the, the cleaner on this map. Cleaner's always been a bit of a strange one. Because you're sort of encouraged to use it. But then sometimes penalised for not using it at certain times. Then there's other ones, depending on what you set up, that you, you just need it. Like, I think the caravan one in the campaign was... Well... There's no maps that are impossible. I think every cleaner can eventually clean off anything. It's just the time. But the rally car... I would... Um, respectfully suggest that... <laughs> there ain't enough hours in the universe to clean with the very basic pressure washer. Nor even... With the second one. The one we're currently running. The, uh, the 1500. Without cleaner. You have to use cleaner to get it in any reasonable time. But, if you had the pro cleaner, you wouldn't have to worry about it. I don't think. But either way, cleaner on that was needed. But I'd used it all by then. But when I first started playing the, the game, and when we first started the series... Cleaner was a bit different to how it is now. 
so yeah oh, there's that one done I know the other ones haven't been done and I'm aware of it I just uh, give them once over 11% cleaned, so this is going to be a long map. It is going to be a fairly long one. Just rotating this round when need be. Obviously a lot of graffiti that we're missing. But we're aware of that, we'll come on back to it. It's around there, then columns there. I'll come back to it, let's say it's just a quick once over for the main columns in the uh, sort of fluted edging things, what they're called. Volutes. <coughs> it looks horrible when you press tab and you go, oh, okay, there's loads of dirt everywhere. Well, yes, there is, but it's, uh, it's actually graffiti. So it's easily removed with a bit of cleaner. here. And this should be the last section of this before we finish the sides and then we'll get the cleaner out for the central column. Well, that one one's done, so we'll do this one next. Well, hang on! <laughs> I, can say, I think we've fallen off. Go back to the ladder. Coming up to this being clean is quite nice to see. There's that one done. That one is done. This one not done. Now is done. This one done. This one done. So one, two, three, four. Right, this column. Soap nozzle. Stone cleaner. Done. And done. Brilliant. Okay. That is that pretty much sorted. Back to the 15 degree with the long extension. So, we've managed to clean a fair bit of this thing. Uh, probably going to go for 25 actually. Yeah, we've cleaned a fair bit of this thing. However, there's still a lot left to do. I cannot believe we're only, we're only on 30% clean of this entire thing. That's ridiculous to think. Looking at the size of the map, I would have thought, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's a couple of episodes. <laughs> It'll be fine. But, um, no, no, this is quite a quite a big job, this thing. And obviously we are limited in pressure washers that we can choose. When I say limited, I mean we don't have the choice. We have to use this pressure washer. We're also limited in the cleaning uh, fluids and such that we have. So, yeah. We shall, I wouldn't say struggle on, but we shall crack on with the cleaning. 14% cleaned. I think we're going to get to 15%. And then call this episode there. It's not been as problematic as I thought. I honestly thought, oh yeah, this is going to be ridiculous considering the size of the statue, the facings of everything, the way it all is laid out. Obviously, it's a it's a very vertical, very vertical uh, challenge, a vertical map mission, whatever you want to call it, but also we don't have scaffolding as far as I can see. And I didn't really check, but I didn't see it. Normally it's quite obvious, the scaffolding. I've also got these norms as well, but you know, those are, uh, yeah, so we'll have to clean when we're down the bottom as well. 15% cleaned. And then we've got all that to do. Okay, well, I said we're going to leave it at 15, and we are going to leave it at 15. That has been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. 
you can... <laughs> I imagine that stuff like this is... It's going to be easier to clean here. Because it's ground level. It's very flat. Yeah. So we're doing the hard part first. I think once we've done this central section up to here and the norms, it'll be a lot quicker to clean. But we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. 15% cleaned on the norm fountain so far. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. 3.6. Yeah. We'll see how we get on in the next episode. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this bit of Power Wash Simulator and the series this far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.